next invite here. Just have to download the content because <laughs> it is a brand new map just for this tournament. Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. And I did download this yesterday at IGN, but don't have it here on my personal computer because uh, we are no longer at the IGN offices. We're still in, in uh, beautiful San Francisco, California, but... Uh, now at my apartment more than anything else so it's actually kind of a funny story here uh, Josh and I are both working for IGN now and we both signed on to do this tournament a couple of months ago before both of I knew both of us knew that we were going to work at IGN and as it so happens Josh needed a place to crash in San Francisco for a couple of weeks while he got everything set up here and um, so lo and behold we ended up casting this from my apartment because that's where he's staying even though that's just ridiculous coincidence that that would happen a couple of months ago so it says uh, your overlays are slightly wrong well, sure let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick I'll flip back to the normal view and oh the the hashtag is in a weird spot yeah where that should we put should that? be above the mini map once we get into a game. Above the mini-map, okay. Well, we'll have to go ahead and check that in-game against you. You guys might see some uh, inception here with a view yeah. within a view within a view within a view. We can't get too many layers deep. We do want to get everything right, though. And if the hashtag was blocking the mini-map, we apologize for that. Obviously, not intentional. <laughs> but uh, he says, well, we can do it on the fly. Is the thing. And all of our players look like they're ready to go. The series is tied 1-1. So this one is going to be the determinant of who will be in the lower bracket, who will move on into the semis. Into, I believe. Yeah. We started with a round of eight. No, these are the semis. Wait. Th this is <laughs> this is the uh, semifinal of the winner's okay. brackets. Yes. Okay. So we are briefly going to get things set up on our end and make sure that all these overlays are okay so sorry about that guys let's see that needs that to be ah uh, that's yeah. that's because well, this is a 16 by 10 format so there we go look at that oh, and hey, look oh. at this guy he's oh, gonna wow. go Ooh, neat oh oh perfect that's good yeah yeah all right bam okay overlays achieved yes surprise it took so long for someone to tell us that but <laughs> here we are in game three we've got complexity cats as the yellow zerg down in the very bottom side of the map. It looks like they're basically at the cardinal positions here. Mm -hmm. Druby is going to be on the east side as the blue Terran. It's Optic Zero as the pink Protoss once again playing from South Korea. And his teammate Dignitas Select, who I believe was born in South Korea. So yes. they're just a happy coincidence there. But uh, <laughs> Sub Suns just tied up the series on that map, Tarsonis Assault. They basically got out of the gate a little bit quicker than last time. They had some air units to assist them this time instead of just uh, being attacked over and over and over. So at least they showed some signs of life and eventually whittled it down cats enough, really taking out his gold base and uh, just pressuring him proved to be the uh, deciding factor there, I think, in that second game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Katz was being pretty effective with his infestors, uh, but continued harassment just, just, as you said, whittled his life away. And he was not able to do anything else. Select actually going for gas first here before he puts up a barracks. So a little bit of attack could... Uh, you see, I, 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 I can make predictions in 1v1. Like, gas before barracks for a Terran player in 1v1 could mean fastest possible Hellions. Could be very quick Banshees as well. Um... But in a 2v2, I'm not sure where this is going to lead. If we're just going to see a huge tech here, because once again, Select and Optic Zero are taking a defensive position, walling off their ramps. And I'm curious to see where this ends up. Katz has put down his spawning pool. He does have his... He put down his extractor after he started his spawning pool, so we won't have fast as possible um, speedlings or anything along those lines. This map, Deconstructed, is one of the custom maps, again, we've mentioned it a couple times now, but mm -hmm. just look at how much distance is between each player's base. Katz is as close to Select as he is to Druby. Uh, maybe not by ground, but if you know, at least yeah. as the crow flies. So Select, if he does get a cloaked Banshee out pretty quickly, he's fortunate that Katz is the one nearest by, because that will mean that cats will need some uh, cloak prevention if he is, if Select is in fact going to be getting those cloak banshees, and I've seen him do it so many times in 1v1 and now in 2v2 that wouldn't surprise me at all, but here we have the first wave of lings, this is just sort of the 2v2 standard here for Cats and Druby, he is actually going to try and seek out Optic Zero, we, we already saw his drone scouting Select, so he knows where Optic Zero is, uh, obviously with the higher latency from South Korea, and I think that um, Select 
maybe Cats has a little bit more respect for Select than Optic Zero. It's because uh, Select beats Cats a lot. <laughs> and Cats, Cats actually defeated Optic Zero in the last rendition of the V that Complexity Gaming hosts and I cast. So um, I think Cats has a little bit more confidence Ooh. against Optic Zero. And he's already got us around on that Zelly. He's going to finish it off instead of just gunning it straight for the probe line. And he's going to run away because of a single stalker. He could have got a couple of probe kills. Yeah. Oh, well. I am disappointed. He knows more about it than I do, though. And Stargate, Bam. man, if he had gotten into the base, he would have seen the Stargate coming up incredibly quickly as well. Yeah, actually, or at least could have denied it for such a long period of time because uh, if we remember to the last game, the big difference was that air dominance for um, Optic Zero and Select. They were able to do all the harassment they wanted with those Phoenixes, with those cloaked Banshees, and I think that that's just going to continue. If it worked once, it could probably work again. We do have a... There's a fun little starport coming up. Indeed, the same opening for Druby as we saw in the last game. Going to that Banshee once again. He's not going to have enough for his cloak uh, this time as well. But just, just a bunch of Hellions and some Banshees. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hellions and Banshees. All right. We'll do it. And, Hooray! Uh, Druby now showing up to step on this force. The wall off is still... Uh, I guess it is because he's that additional pylon. Maybe that's why he didn't run by before. Well, I, I don't know, actually. I uh, yeah, what that is. Okay, but it looks uh, like this gateway will go down. Yeah, this gateway is going to be destroyed. Most likely, they'll open up a giant hole before both cats and the run right through. And it looks like Cats is going to get in, finally see this Stargate. I don't think a Phoenix has popped out just yet. Actually, Void is first being constructed here, so poor no Phoenix is. But, ooh, these Whoa! Hellions. Four Hellions now, right in there. No! Destroying tons and tons of probe. Optic Zero writhing in agony as he's down all single digit probes over the place here. And the Italians still the worst thing away whatever they can. He has no units there to defend. And again, that's just a consequence of this map being so huge and spread out between players. Yeah, absolutely. These are the last few units now for Optic Zero. We do have one void right up, but the rest of his probes are going to go down. That is going to put him down to just three supplies. And that three supplies is that void rate. The rest of the units going down as well. Optic Zero is effectively being taken out of this game. Yeah, but I wonder if these links are going to try and yep, try to just uh, kill the Nexus before he can build any more probes. Uh, looks like Optic Zero just spent some money on a Phoenix instead of a probe. He does not have enough cash to build a probe right now. Yep. He's resigned to his one Void Ray and one Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, he'll have to get some cash from Select if uh, Select will pass something over. But Select is actually going up to a, another command center at the moment. Tech Lab going down on the factory, and he himself is going to have those cloaked Banshees once again. I'm trying to see if Team... Assassins is preparing. Off oh, to the left. Off to the left. There it is. Banshee's here. Oh, there it is. All right. So Cloak Banshee making its way in. We do have an evolution chamber coming up now for cats as quick as possible, but he is going to lose a couple of these queens. The first queen goes down pretty quickly. The Phoenix getting in on the party as well. And the Void Ray. They're, they're all here just to join the fun. Trying to kill out as many drones as cats and Ruby just kills pros. Uh, select basically one to be doing at this point the addition of a Phoenix and a Void Ray. I don't think I like those odds for Select, but he is doing a ton of damage here to Cats. Cats not even pulling drones, not even trying to expand or anything. He's making 17 Banelings, though, right now, outside of Select's uh, ramp. And Druby still has quite a few units alive as well. He'll be able to try and finish off Select before Select can kill every single thing in Cats' base. Yep, absolutely. The last couple of drones are going to go down. Cats now down to 16 supplies. Um, I'm going to see that is entirely in these Banelings. The Banelings do make their way through. Through, and now Drewy is going to make his way in. They half busted down the front door, and Select is just going to try and hold up this damage with the Banshee. Uh -oh. They lose so many SUVs. All the SUVs are falling at the moment, so he's going to be down to less than 10 as well. Hellions on one side, Banelings on the other. Which way do you run? He has pajamas. <laughs> Nowhere. You just power in fear and assume the fetal position. I, so, I hop inside the command center and hope. No, I get an <laughs> orbital. It's impossible. So Drooby did clear off this harassment. Looks like there is another cloak fancy coming in. Uh, oh! Unfortunately, Sport Crawler does pop up and see that there's a scan and the cloaked Banshee goes down. So Cats has some workers to regain his mining. It looks like Select is down to just 9 supply. Now that is just whatever units he has coming up in addition to this Banshee. And unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. Uh, Drooby's still sitting over there, happy yeah. with his 27 SCVs, happy that he is still mining. I have workers, lol, lol. Hooray! <laughs> so really, he can just build marines and win <laughs> at this yeah, point. Uh, just fortify a big wall. He actually doesn't even have a wall. He doesn't care. But uh, basically, he just needs to defend against this Banshee. He's got Vikings in the air already. He's got Scans saving up and marines on the ground. He should be just fine against this Banshee aggression. And Optic Zero basically just... Uh, 
doesn't have any units or buildings at this point, so he's just cheering on select and select PG. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Team Assassins moving on into the winner's bracket finals. Indeed you do. getting knocked down to the lower bracket, and they'll be facing either MYM or Vile, I want to say. Let me take a look here. I believe they're going to play M... Oh, no, they're going to play Vile from the lower side of the lower bracket, if I am right. Let me go ahead and check the brackets here. Um, oh, no, Power Tech. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Power Tech beat Team Vile. So this is going to be... Um, Sub Suns versus Power Tech in the lower bracket. Right now, though, I think we're going to have Team Destiny versus Team EG. I, I would assume that they're going to do the next winner's bracket match. Uh, but I guess we will figure that out in just a bit. Let's go ahead and bring up our shout-out screen as well. It's been an absolute pleasure to cast this for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything so far. Uh, this is Casper Jamis here with Joshi. If you've enjoyed our content... You can find me at uh, mostly my big point of contact is twitter.com slash catswithjamasse2, and I do appreciate and treasure every single follower I get. You can also find me at uh, YouTube, Justin TV, and Facebook slash catswithjamasse2 as well. Yep, and I'm Ask Joshi. If you don't know, you can find my stuff at Twitter, Facebook, or youtube.com slash askjoshi. I've been casting games basically as long as there's been a game to cast. And <laughs> That's true. Uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be now working for IGN.com out here in San Francisco as a result of all that. So uh, myself and Cat's Pajamas, like we said, cast yesterday from the IGN offices. And basically that's like a dream come true. We have two of the most unique careers or actual jobs, I guess you could say, out of uh, the entire country. So pretty exciting stuff there at IGN. And uh, again, I want to thank, obviously, PTSL for inviting both of us mm -hmm. to come cast this very unique tournament, very awesome tournament today.